morning y'all welcome back to the channel this is amanda with tap mom and the bait brigade we are reading our daily devotionals mornings with jesus and it is saturday april 2nd i hope y'all enjoying your morning coffee or tea i'm having slim fast because since i have issues with mobility that's my way of attempting to shed a few pounds and it's, I know it's an acquired taste. Slim, Slim Fast is definitely acquired, an acquired taste. It took me a while to get used to. But now I have one every morning and I don't eat until about one or two o'clock. And it works just fine. <laughs> All right. Here's our devotional for today. Let me see if I can sit back because sitting up like this is murder. Oh. Okay, this. And I got to bring you closer. Sorry. Technical difficulties, technical difficulties. Okay. Well, hopefully y'all can hear me from back there, up there. All right. Our Bible verse goes as follows. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had. So that with one mind and one voice, you may glorify God, glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accept one another then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God. Romans fifteen five through 7. And here's our inspirational story. I enjoy participating in town's historic home tours. Albany, Oregon, Oregon is known for its beauty maintained histor historic structures. And twice a year, generous homeowners allow do do docents like me to share their homes with the public. It's a time of reflection, joy, and learning as we witness the way past generations lived and recognize the craftsmanship of years gone by. During the season's tour, I was impressed with the one couple. They had come together later in life with one spouse divorced and the other widow. As they welcomed us into their home, the wife shared how by the time they had wed, they each had their own collections of mementos. Neither wanted to part with the beloved items that had come to mean so much to them over their lifetimes. So they compromised, starting a new tradition of mingling them together. The result was both charming and uplifting. Like this couple, the church is as diverse as its members. Each individual's experience is as unique as the life each has lived. But varying, varying perspectives don't need to divide us. Since Jesus walked among us, believers have set aside their differences to give him glory. As I gather in worship, May my praises join him with others to meld unto a beautiful collection of acceptance and love. Heidi Gall. Face step. Think of fellow Christians who have different outlook than you do. Find ways to accept your differences so you can better praise Jesus together. Oh, that's nice. You know, I've always tried to be more accepting of others face because you know we all worship the same god it doesn't matter how we get there in my opinion it doesn't matter how we get there as long as we get there so y'all leave your comments below and let me know what you thought about that one and uh, we'll go from there Ooh, technical difficulties <laughs> uh, i gotta find a better spot to sit i think and do these uh, it's not an easy task when you have a back that's full of arthritis and bone spurs. Anyway, um, I hope you all are enjoying this back um, on the channel. And let me know what you think, uh, especially you new subscribers. Since y'all don't, um, maybe y'all didn't go back and watch any of those videos. But uh, I love you all. God bless you, and I'll see you on the next one.